you observed that one of your teachers is very active in commenting and sharing to social media the account of a political personality he is avidly supporting. As a school head, what should you do? A. Tell him to stop commenting and sharing since teachers should be nonpartisan. B. Tell him to stop commenting and sharing since teachers should not be involved in any political issues. C. Just let the teacher continue whatever he's doing since it's the trend. D. Let the teacher continue commenting or sharing since it's not prohibited electioneering act. Ano sa tingin mo ang tamang sagot? Para masagot natin ang tanong na ito, basahin muna natin yung Deped Order Number 48, Series of 2018, Prohibition on Electioneering and Partisan Political Activity. Base sa Deped Order na ito, binanggit niya yung resolution ng civil service tungkol sa mga partisan political activities. Kasama dito yung forming organization, associations, clubs, committees or other groups of persons for the purpose of soliciting votes and or undertaking any campaign for or against a candidate or party. Kasama din dito yung pagsasagawa ng conferences, meeting, rally, parades, or other similar assemblies for the purpose of soliciting votes and other undertaking any campaign for or against a candidate or party. Pangatlo, making speeches, announcements, or commentaries, or holding interviews for or against the election of any candidate or party for public office. In other words, dito sa tatlong activities na to, hindi ka lang basta nagpapakita ng support, kundi tinatrabaho mo talaga na yung particular na kandidato o kaya naman party ay eh manalo. So you could solicit votes and also, o kaya naman, sinisiraan mo talaga yung isa para hindi siya manalo. Ganun katindi yung ginagawa mong effort sa kanila. Kaya bawal yun. Pero, how about kung susupport ka lang naman? You're expressing your feeling, your emotion, your, your opinion about particular candidate. Bawal ba yun? Basahin pa natin para masagot natin yung tanong na yun. Bawal din yung mag-publish, mag-display, or mag-distribute ng campaign materials para suportahan o kaya naman kalabanin yung isang election candidate or party. Meron tayong mga nakikita sa social media na nagkakaroon sila ng donation drive, GoFundMe para makakolekta ng pera para sa pagsuporta doon sa gusto nilang kandidato. Marami tayong may kita ngayon dyan eh, kasi lalo na kung ini-encourage yung isang politiko na tumakbo para sa isang particular na posisyon, may nakikita tayong ganun. Kung ibang tao ang gagawa nun, pwede. Pero kung teacher, hindi pwede. Kasi nga, bawal tayo na directly or indirectly solicit votes or pledges or support for or against a candidate of a party. Bawal din yung on being a delegate to any political convention or a member of any political committee or directorate or an officer of any political club or other similar political organization. Pag sasali ka sa election, gusto mong kumandidato, kailangan mong mag-leave. Receiving any contributions for political purposes, either directly or indirectly, yun nga, nabagit ko kanina, bawal din yung becoming publicly identified with the success or failure of any candidates or parties. O e, paano na yun? Yung mga nagko-comment at nag-share ng mga paborito nilang politiko, mga sinusuportahan nilang politiko, that is publicly... Um, expressing your support. Pwede ba yun? Basahin pa din natin kasi medyo mahaba-haba pa ito. Next, wearing of t-shirts or pins, cups, or other similar election paraphernalia bearing the names of the candidates for political party except for authorized by the Commission of Election. Bawal din yung maging watcher sa, para sa isang political party. Magbigay ng financial and other monetary contribution supplies para sa in favor of a political candidate. Utilizing government resources such as personnel, 
including job order or contract of service, o kaya naman distributing handbills or leaflets. Attendance at political meetings and then distribution of letters kung tatakbo ka sa eleksyon, bawal din yun. Lahat tayo empleyado ng gobyerno ay hindi pwedeng mag-join, mag in ma-involve sa any electioneering or partisan activities. Bawal yun para sa atin. Kasi meron tayo magiging sanction as per administrative code and also as indicated in Dep. number 49 series of 2006. Kasama rin ng Dep. order na ito ang Civil Service Resolution number 1600298 na ipinalabas noong March 29, 2018. Binigyang linaw ng CNC memorandum na ito ang section 55 about political activity na nagsasabi na no officer or employee in the civil service including members of the armed forces shall engage directly or indirectly in any partisan political activity. Yun yung mga binanggit natin kanina. Or take part in any action except to vote nor shall be used his official authority or influence to coerce the political activity of any other person or body. Nothing herein provided shall be understood to prevent any officer or employee from expressing his views on current political problems. So, eto, medyo lumilinaw na. Hindi tayo pwedeng mag-join sa any partisan activities, katulad ng mga binanggit kanina, pero pwede tayong mag-express ng opinion natin tungkol sa political issues and problems. Basahin pa nga natin ito, medyo malalim ah. Kasama pa rin sa DepEd order na ito, ang Joint Circular Number no. 1 Series of 2016 sa pagitan ng Commission on Election and Civil Service Commission na may title na Joint Comelec Advisory on Electioneering and Political Partisan Activity. Sa Joint Circular na ito, binigyan diin na ang mga empleyado ng gobyerno ay maaaring magpahayag ng kanyang opinion tungkol sa mga current political problems or issues or from mentioning the names of candidates for public office whom he supports. Ayun naman pala, so ano na yung hindi pwedeng gawin ng isang government employee? So, eto yung mga pwede nating gawin. Una, casting one's votes. Pwede tayong bumoto. Pwede din tayo mag-comment tungkol sa mga political problems or issues, current political problems and issues. And then, mentioning, take note ha, mentioning the names of candidates or parties whom we support. O kaya naman, public expressions, opinions, or discussions of probable, probable ay hindi pa siya issue, probable issues in a forthcoming election, or an attributes of or criticisms against probable candidates. To be nominated in a forthcoming political party convention. So in other words, hindi pa siya kandidato. Pero kapag kandidato na at kinikritik mo siya, therefore, bawal na yun. Partisan activity na yun, bawal na talagang gawin yun. At eto na, social media functions such as liking, commenting, sharing, reposting, or following a candidate's or party's account unless these are resorted as a means to solicit support for or against a candidate or party during the campaign period. So in other words, pwede tayong mag-like, pwede tayong mag-comment, pwede tayong mag-share or repost. Pero hindi dapat tayo mag-comment in such a way na ikukuha natin sila ng mga mag-vote sa kanila or naman uh, para hindi sila iboto, siraan natin para hindi sila iboto. No, bawal yun. So, kasi nagiging partisan na tayo sa part na yun. So, yung nature ng pag-share natin o pag-comment natin will depend on how we construct the sentence or how we construct the comments para ma-identify kung naging partisan nga ba tayo o hindi dun sa mga na-share at na-comment nating mga FB posts na mga kandidato. Sabi pa dito, engaging directly or indirectly 
in partisan political activities by members of the civil service is a less grave offense punishable by suspension of one month and one day suspension to six months for the first offense well and bigot and dismissal from service for the second offense ang bigot niya pang penalty of suspension and then penalty of cancellation of eligibility Ang bigat naman ng mga sanctions nito. Kaya uulitin natin sa pinakadulo natin, no? hindi tayo pinagbabawalan na mag-comment, mag-express ng opinion natin tungkol sa mga national and political issues. Pero ang sinasabi lang ng DepEd at ng Comelec na maging maingat tayo sa paglalabas at pag express natin ng ating mga opinion. Lalo na kung tayo ay magpapakita ng matinding pagsuporta o hin pag uh, pagsira sa isang kandidato. So we have to be very very careful sa nature sa construction ng mga comments na inilalagay natin sa Facebook. Kaya nga laging sinasabi para maiwasan ng ganitong problema, laging isipin, think before you click. Kaya ang sagot sa ating tanong ay letter D.